how did the provincial government react to this um, provincial-wide lockdown suggestion? Yes, Sean, Governor or Cebu Governor Gwen Garcia rejects the recommendation saying that they can manage the COVID-19 situation without province-wide lockdown. Garcia explained that health protocols in place are so far enough to stop the virus from spreading further. She added that the health care system of the province is not yet overwhelmed. With this, the Cebu LGU is even planning to finally reopen its doors to domestic tourists. Garcia said they are now working on an executive order. Under the EO, visitors will no longer need to present a negative swab test result as medical certificate would suffice. The governor added that companies will come up with more affordable packages to attract guests. Some business owners welcome the move, noting that they need tourists to bounce back from their losses. Sean, the, the EO for the simplified requirements for the incoming tourists is set to be released anytime soon. The LG assures the public that they are ready to implement this amid the rising COVID-19 cases here in the province of Cebu. Sean. That's right, Jenny. I wanted to ask you about removing this requirement of an RT-PCR test prior to flying to Cebu. Is that really going to push through? And how, do this, or how does the provincial government uh, plan to manage or mitigate infections and transmissions given that they're removing this requirement for RT-PCR testing? Yes, Sean, Governor Gwen Garcia said that the removal of those requiring particularly the RT-PCR test is final. What they are waiting for now is the executive order to finally implement this. Um, actually, kung lalabas na siya yung EO, they will implement that uh, starting tomorrow. And they said kaya naman nilang i-handle pa yung COVID-19 situation. Basta uh, sumunod lang sa health protocols yung mga tourists na pupunta dito sa province ng Cebu. Sean. All right, daghang salamat para sa update na yan. That was News 5's Jenny Dongon joining us live from Cebu City.